Hey, welcome to the episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I haven't noticed in a long time, but we're going to do another mix pack box review. And this is actually kind of a local one. Uh, it's the Coney Island brand, which is uh, Schmaltz. Alright, first beer up is the Coney Island Lager. This is the flagship of uh, the Coney Island series. Really solid lager. Very similar to this beer, or Buchen Lager. It's not quite as clean tasting as those beers. I think the Brooklyn and the Sam Adams are a little more crisp. This one is definitely quite fizzy. It does have like a kind of very typical lager kind of taste and, and fizziness underneath the flavor. It's a very, very malty lager. Definitely very malty. Almost to the point where it's like, not, not quite a, like in a Doppelbach territory, but just way more way more malts than you're used to in a lager. You probably could mistake this for an ale, but it still has like that lager kind of smell and fizziness to it. Um, that being said, I mean, it's still a pretty easily drinkable beer. I wouldn't call it refreshing because it's so malty. There's definitely some nice bitterness in there. It's like kind of just like a dry kind of biscuity, malty bitterness in there. Has a little bit of like a... I don't know, like kind of a wet wheat kind of aftertaste, but um, yes, yeah, it tastes good. There's a nice sweetness in there too, a little bit of like uh, caramel stuff like that, kind of very similar to like an Oktoberfest or well, a Vienna Lager. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's good. I'm gonna give a, I'll give a seven out of ten to the Coney Island Lager. All right, next beer. You probably can't tell, but it's like four or five days since I did the the Coney Island Lager. So we're moving on to the Sword Swallower here. Um, if you can see on the bottle there, it says IPA style. I mean, they weren't kidding with uh, IPA style, though. I mean, this is a very, very bitter beer. Uh, don't know the IBUs on it. I mean, I don't think it's, like, quite that high. It's probably, like, in the 60s, if that high. But it's a very, very dry, bitter, like, sharp bitterness it's uh, definitely pine. It's just like straight up pine. Um, even though like they use some of the more west coast type hops in there. I think that there's like Amarillo, Warrior, uh, Northern Brewer, which I use in mine. Uh, that might account for like so that kind of dryness in there. Um, so it's just like kind of sharp dryness. No real citrusy flavor. No real pine resin or like stickiness or anything either. It's just straight up like very very bitter. Um, it has a nice kind of crisp body though, you know, because it is a lager, so you get like that more, you know, single IPA kind of crispness to it. Um, hops linger here, definitely drives me out. I would not call it like refreshing, but it's this is the kind of beer you'd want to have with like wings and pizza. Yeah, I like it. It's a uh, it's surprisingly good. I I give it a seven out of ten for the Sword Swallower. All right, it's another three or four days later. And I'm drinking the Albino Python. Now, you might remember I drank this at the uh, Capital Region Craft Brewers Festival last summer. And it was okay on a, on a hot summer's day. It's very weird because they're basically going for a wit beer style here, like a Who Garden. But it's, you know, all these beers are lagers. It says white lager brewed with spices. And I just looked on the website to get the whole, you know, the breakdown, hop, malt, spices. They use ginger... And I forget what else, but like all I can taste in this beer is ginger. And if you know me, you know I hate ginger. It's just all ginger and nothing else. I can't taste anything else. No citrus, no like, you know, allspice or clove or no banana or anything, you know. I like I like some banana. And, and other kind of citrusy flavors in a wit beer, but this is just basically, I don't know, it's kind of like a strong lager with a whole bunch of ginger in it. Um, and it's that fact that like the first two swigs were like so spicy, it almost tasted like curry, not even so much ginger, but I don't know, I mean, it's okay, I mean, I would not call this a mild, bland beer, man, it's got plenty of flavor, it's just that it's gingery. Um, I don't know, if, if they could dial down the ginger and put something else in there, I would probably like this. But, you know, as this stands, it's like, I just don't really... I mean, it's, it's fine, it's drinkable, but 
this is one of those beers where it's like, you know, I can tell that it's made well, but I just, I can't honestly give this a thumbs up. I have to give this a thumbs down. I'm going to give a 4 out of 10 to the Albino Python. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay at best. It's just too much ginger. Dial back to ginger and it'd be a good beer. So, one more to go. Cheers. And we're on to the last beer. This is the Coney Island Mermaid Pilsner. A little bit of lemon in there. Lemon peel. I got like a nice kind of more rich, bready type maltiness on this one. Probably from the rye and, you know, the fact that he went nuts with the malt bill, I guess. You know, they use all these different hops in here. But it's not a particularly bitter beer. Um, kind of slightly dry, you know, a little bit of like a bite on the end. But, you know, otherwise not really bitter. It's it's a very clean for the ABV. Uh, 5.5. That's that's actually a little high. You know, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense considering, you know, there's like seven malts and four hops in here, but I don't know. I mean, it's 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 not as good as like 6 point the crisp, but it's, it's almost as good. It's just a nice, solid, clean lager. You can drink this in a lot of qual in high quantity. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for the Coney Island Mermaid Pilsner. So that does it for the Coney Island Craft Lager box review. Um, I definitely like the Sword Swallower the best. Probably followed by the regular lager, then, then the Pilsner, and then the Albino Python I didn't really like at all. It's just too much ginger. But, um, yeah. This was really expensive, though. 24 bucks. I don't think it was like, quite worth that much. Even though it's only $2 a bottle. But still, I mean, you can get so many other mix packs for a, a lesser price. But I guess they had coming around on the Coney Island brand. Because I never really was a big fan of any of the Schmaltz beers, the Hebrew or the Coney Island. But, um, you know, these are these are pretty good. And they're definitely creative recipes. I mean, they're basically making lagers with ale... Re or making ales with lager yeast, I guess. But, yeah, so that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.